Hey guys, it's Ariba and I'm back with a super easy Halloween up style. Today I'm going to be doing a masquerade look. So we're going to start by sectioning our hair behind the ear on both sides and clipping it away. And you can gather the remaining hair and we're going to create a really high ponytail and it's going to be off center. So you can choose which side you want to put it on. I'm tying mine off to the right corner. So a nice high ponytail. And then you're going to give it a gentle twist and then tug on it so that it gets nice and full. And if you don't have enough hair for this, you can also use a donut. And then you're just going to roll it around and clip it into place. And this doesn't have to be perfect because all of this is going to get covered. You're basically just creating a cushion for the rest of your hair to get pinned into. So don't worry about the way this looks. Just make sure that it's on the corner of your head where you want your bun to be placed. So I want mine nice and high. And then we're just going to start curling our hair. So for both of the sides, we're going to curl the hair back away from the face. And I'm using a one and a half inch curling iron. And the reason I'm curling away from my face is because I want the sides to lay nice and flat but I do want the ends to have some texture so that the bun itself has a lot of texture and it's nice and messy because I want the bun to have a lot of movement in it. And we're going to do the same exact thing on the other side. We're going to curl away from the face. And the curls don't have to be crazy tight or anything. I just want enough movement in there so that the bun has a little bit of texture. And so for this top section, we're going to be curling it down. And I'm just going to split this section into two smaller sections so that it's easier for me to curl. And I'm gonna grab about a one inch wide section and I'm going to start curling. And for these curls, we're going, going to curl uh, back and forth. We're going to alternate right and left. And the reason that I'm curling downwards is that when you curl opposite of the direction that you want your hair to go, it gives it a little bit extra lift and I want lots of volume on top. So I'm going to curl everything forward towards my face because all of this hair is going to get pulled back away from my face and it's going to give it a lot more lift. So once everything's curled and you look nice and crazy, we can start pinning our hair back. And I'm going to start with the side sections first. It doesn't matter what side you start on. So we're just going to smooth out the sides and we're going to go across the bun. And then you're just going to spread the ends out kind of messy and you're going to pin it into place. And for the ends, we're just going to use a Stronghold hairspray to set it. And we're going to do the same exact thing on the other side. So I'm going to comb the section nice and smooth and up and away from my face and we're going to wrap it around the bun. And again, we're just going to pin it into place and spread the ends out and hairspray those into place. So as you can see, we're creating a lot of texture in the bun. And now for our last section, I'm going to take a couple of half inch wide sections and tease them so I can create lots of volume. And for this last section, I'm just going to hairspray it. And we're going to roll the ends around right on top of the bun hairspray it into place, and add a few bobby pins just to secure the bun. Once the bun feels nice and secure, I'm going to give it another spritz of hairspray because I want this to stay in place. And this is what it looks like before I accessorize it. And then we're going to add the masquerade mask. And I found this flower at the dollar store and there's enough bobby pins in my hair that it should stay in place. And voila, we're done. A really easy masquerade up style for Halloween. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below letting me know what you think. And if you aren't already, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and my blog, millennialmama.ca for more hair inspiration. Don't forget to subscribe.